Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read to you the story Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell by Sue Hendrick. Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman, look at them, they're amazing. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. We crash! Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoilt our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he skulked off into the moonlight. I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. But finding a shell was not easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy, one was too noisy, and one was already taken. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell. It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail. And the same snails loved Norman's silly shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly, there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, bird, cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper. Oh, I wonder what you think is going to happen next. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Oh, I wonder, do you think you could decide what he could do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it. With a slither and a sloth and a slip and a slide, Norman was free! But he was falling faster and faster and faster until... Ploink! Norman! Norman! Are you okay? asked the snails. Wow! said Norman. That was great! I love flying! If only... I had wings. Ta da! The end. Thank you for listening, boys and girls. I wonder what story I might read next, and I wonder if you can think about who the author might be. Bye for now!